Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. I'm actually recording this one straight after the last one, so unfortunately I haven't had a chance to take a look at your comments from the last episode just yet. Because guys, I already have an idea as to how to potentially get myself a bunch of ancient debris. Now according to the Minecraft wiki, ancient debris blocks have an incredible blast resistance, whereas netherrack does not. So what we're going to do today folks is we are going to go ahead and make ourselves a ton of TNT, okay? We've got 27 already, but guys, we need to head out to the desert, we need to get ourselves an entire shulker box full of sand and then we're gonna fill up a shulker box with gunpowder as well i mean it's not like we don't have ourselves a whole bunch here right i mean look at all this stuff <laughs> dudes we're gonna have so much tnt we won't even know what to do with it i mean to be honest it gives tnt a much more legitimate purpose in the game you know aside from just having a bit of fun blowing stuff up and blowing your friends houses up you know you can use it to mine for netherite or ancient debris. It's going to be sweet, guys. So, as you can see, we're doing a bunch of prep work at the minute. We're going to grab ourselves a bunch of fire resist potions because I'm not going to burn to death. I'm not going to do that. That would be a very stupid thing, wouldn't it? And then, yeah, we need to bring ourselves a bunch of, uh, well, whatever redstone type components we might have. Uh, well, even that will do the job, a redstone torch. Ah, yeah. And yeah, we just need to head out to a desert in which we have one linked up and then we will be good. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it, guys. I'm so looking forward to it. Guys, if you are still excited for these episodes and if you want to see the next episode tomorrow, you guys know what to do. 5,000 likes. Do it, guys. 5,000 likes. I would very much appreciate it, guys. I really, really would. Since getting back from my vacation, I have just been so raring to go with this series, with this game, with YouTube in general. I'm just I'm just so excited, guys. I really am. So, guys, let's head through to the nether, and we are going to get ourselves over to the desert so we can get ourselves a bunch of TNT made. Quite what you're doing here, I have no idea. Why don't you go ahead and go bye byes? And in the meantime, oh, I don't have a bed here. Oh, sorry, not a bed, a boat. Eh, oh well. Well, I guess we can still fly over there, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the portal that links up to the desert, right? I mean, we didn't actually, you know, signpost any of these things. I really should, shouldn't I? Then I know where each of the portals go, huh? All right, so let's pop through here. Yep, I am right. This is indeed the desert. Uh, where do we want to mine from? That's the real question. Maybe, like, over here? Like, I don't want to wreck the terrain too much, you know what I mean? I don't know. All right, guys, let's make ourselves a bit of a start. A full shulker box of sand is what we're looking for. All right, guys, so one full shulker box of both sand and gunpowder. And we should be able to make ourselves uh, quite a few stacks of TNT here. Oh, man, I'm so glad I could just do this now. It's so good being able to just make a whole bunch of stuff without too much of a sweat. It is Awesome. Right, okay, so let's just let's just use it all up. Why not? Okay, and then we got 27 right there, and that means we've got just under six stacks of TNT, which we're gonna be using to try to get ourselves more ancient debris and therefore netherite. Ooh. This is going to be awesome. So, uh, there is one other thing that I did forget to mention in the last episode, which I have now realised. If you use gold ingots in the nether against the uh, the piglins, you can barter with them and they can give you some cool stuff. So, yeah, there's going to be a bunch of stuff going on, guys, and I am so looking forward to it. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is about that time, isn't it? Uh, might it be an idea to bring another stack of firework rockets as well? Um, maybe? Yeah, let's be honest. It probably would be a good idea, wouldn't it? So, yeah, best go prepared, huh? Ah, what do you guys? So, first things first, let's try the whole bartering thing. Alright, so, got a gold ingot in our hands here. And as far as I know, these guys should, like, come towards me? Hello? Hi there. Boom. <gasps> oh, he gave me something. Boom. Give. Give me all the things. Yay! I made them all satisfied and happy. What did I get? Nether bricks, mushrooms, and red mushrooms. Ah! Hey! 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 No! No! You give me cool stuff. You do not attack me. 
thank you, sirs. Oh, oh, hey, we've got, uh, nope, thanks, thanks, ow, son of a, ow, ah, don't kill me, I'm trying, ah! okay, I'm done, <laughs> I'm done there, oh, goodness me, all right, I want to use this final gold ingot, though, man, come on, dude, I want to see what else I can get, boom, thanks, Appreciate it. All right, and then maybe they like dropped a couple bits on the ground. Uh, not as far as I can tell. All right, hey, well at least the wither skeleton spawning hasn't been affected here. That's good. It means we can eventually get back to this project, uh, perhaps in the next episode. But for now, I'm just trying to focus a little bit more on the fun stuff, the fun update stuff. Hello, hi there, sirs. Would you all like to die? I'm pretty sure you would, actually. Right, dead. And, oh, I just saw one drop. <laughs> We've, wait. Yeah, it, it did, didn't it? Yeah, there, there was one. Cool. I think it'd be really, really awesome if there was an extremely rare chance of the hoglins, or piglins more to the point, the piglins uh, dropping with a skeleton schools. I know that they can drop uh, ancient, not not ancient debris, the, the scrap, like every now and again, like on an extremely rare circumstance. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There's, there's still a lot for me to learn, basically, guys. So there's a lot for me to learn still, and I am looking forward to every minute of it. I really am. So let's get back over to the new nether. We are going underground to Y equals 15, and we are going to blow the joint up. It is going to be great. Man, am I excited to do this, my friends. Now, obviously, I have done a little bit of preparation here. I've got myself fire resist potion, so, you know, I'm not dying from fire. But, uh, yeah, like I say, my friends, we're going down to Y15, and we're going to start blowing this stuff up. So, what I'm hoping will happen, if all goes well, what I'm hoping will happen is that, uh, is that the netherrack will all blow up, but then uh, the other stuffs will not. Oh, hello there. Ah, there's already a bunch of dudes here. Right, so here we go. Boop and boop. Do this. Get rid of that. And then boom. Just go over here. Okay. Oh, goodness me. A whole bunch of... Oh! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh, my God. The first blowing up done. And we've already bleeding found some. Oh, isn't that amazing? All right. We don't even need to worry about the lava here, guys. Oh, my goodness. I didn't think it would work that quickly. What the heck? <laughs> I think I may have just found the most effective method of uh, finding the ancient debris here, guys. Oh, that is sick. That is sick. All right, here we go. All right, well, let's dig it up. We've got a vein of two this time. That's pretty cool. One more, and then we can make ourselves our first ever netherite ingot, guys. Nether sprouts. Oh, they're, like, really low down, huh? All right, well, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's just start blowing up some more stuff. All right. Boop, boop, and boop, and a uh, boop. Okay, and we're just going to blow up a whole bunch of this stuff, man. Why the heck not? Blowing stuff up is fun, especially when you've got an actual purpose to it. Look at this, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this works so well. Look at all this wall. <laughs> oh, this works so well, my dudes. This works so freaking well. Oh, what do you guys think? Could we even go for a netherite block? You know, a block of netherite with nine netherite ingots? What do you guys think, huh? That could be... Hey, a vein of three. Hey, that's pretty good. That's that's actually pretty good. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, guys, you've seen it here first. You've seen it here first. Probably the best way of getting netherite. T N T, huh? TNT, folks. TNT. Ah, I told you, man. It is so great for TNT to have a proper, applicable use aside from blowing up your friends' houses. All right, so blow that up. And what do we have? Anything going on here? No, nope, doesn't look like it. So I guess we move on. Maybe we do this area over here. <laughs> oh, this is actually super fun, dudes. I'm so happy we have a proper use for TNT now. All right, blow it up. Whoop. There we go. And would you look at that? There's literally a bit right there. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, man. It was shortly after ending the previous episode that I was like, do you know what? Blast resistance. That is a thing. That is a mechanic that exists in this game. So why not see 
if we can use TNT as an effective method to try and find ourselves some ancient debris. And well, as you can see, on almost every single occasion where we've put down TNT and blown stuff up, we have found some ancient debris. This is fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We'll go until we run out of this particular stack of TNT, okay? We'll have this be like a little bit of myth busting, a little bit of a uh, little bit of an experiment. Why not? Everybody loves an experiment every now and again, right? And yeah, we'll use this stack of TNT to see just how much ancient debris we can find. Alrighty guys, just a few more blasts from this stack of TNT to go, and then the experiment will be completo. Okay, so uh, let's go up this way, we're just going up to Y15 every time, making a little bit of a branch with one block remaining, placing down three bits of TNT, putting down the torch, getting rid of it, and then coming away. And then we just see if there's any ancient debris, which in this case, there is. Look at this, there's one here. Awesome. Okay, how many do we have now? 15. Okay, very, very nice, guys. All right, so just a couple more to go here. And then, like I say, the experiment will be complete. Okay, we'll just do the side ones this time. So one stack of TNT equals how much ancient debris? Uh, there's a little bit down here. Oh, uh, two bits down here. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Very nice to see. Okay, any more for any more. Doesn't look like it. All right, guys, successful experiment. By every stretch of the imagination, that has been a successful experiment, guys. One stack of TNT has basically granted us 16 ancient debris. So there you go, folks. If you didn't want to go ahead and use, like, weird farming methods, if you wanted to do it in a legitimate fashion, uh, then, yeah, I would honestly, hand on heart, say that using TNT is the way to go because the ancient debris blocks will never blow up. They have an incredible blast resistance. They really, really do. Right, all I need to do is get the heck out of here. So we're literally, like, going up through lava here. Uh-huh. Uh, can I, like... I wonder if I could firework my way out of here. Whoop! Eh. There we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> and you thought you could contain me in lava, did you? ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! Alright guys, we are now going to go back to base, which is actually this way. Yeah, go back to base, zero, zero, and guys, we are going to start experimenting with the netherite. And here we are back in the overworld. 16 ancient debris, believe it or not, is going to be enough to make, as far as I can calculate, four... Netherite. Okay, so that should be pretty awesome. So let's place down an ender chest. We're going to grab ourselves out a bunch of gold here, and then we should be able to start doing some awesome things with it. Oh, do you know what? Actually, give me a sec. I need to experiment. Can I put this in a blast furnace? Aha! I can! <laughs> oh, I should have thought about that before I put the uh, first load in, huh? All right, well, that's still pretty cool, right? So here we are. There's the netherite. Ooh. Netherite. All right, let's have a look. Netherite. Let's see what we do in order to make it. Uh, oh. Knockback resistance. Ooh. So you don't even need to use three netherite ingots in a traditional crafting recipe to make a pickaxe. I could just, like, upgrade this. Is that something I could do? Ah, oh, I'm not entirely... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure that my uh, that my enchants would carry over. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out in just a hot second here. And, yep, that will be the final piece of, uh, you know, netherite scrap. So, I'll tell you what. You can go in there. And, guys, we have four netherite ingots. So, do you know what I'm going to do? What are, what, are, what are my diamond supplies looking like? Looking pretty okay. I might go ahead and fortune mine all of these. I was going to go and save it for the uh, 1,000 diamond ore mining challenge. But uh, since we have, like, new uses for these things, I'm going to go ahead and mine these ones and then maybe start the 1,000 diamond ore mining challenge, right? I think that's a cool idea. So, let's grab some planks. We're going to make ourselves one of each tool. So, going to make ourselves a sword. An axe, a shovel, and of course, finally, a pickaxe. And then we can upgrade all of these things. Here we go. Netherite shovel, netherite sword, pickaxe, 
and act. <laughs> oh, it's nice, isn't it, guys? It is nice. We've got a brand new set of tools that are apparently an even higher tier than Diamond. Whew. Man, that, uh, that feels very, very strange to say. Like, for, for literally years, like, even since the inception of the game, Diamond was always top tier, wasn't it? And now that there's something that's even higher, like, oh my god. Like, that is insane, isn't it? It really, really is. So, let's put the stuff away, put the gold away, and guys, we are going to, uh, you know... Um, it's just enchant them. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get ourselves up to 30 levels. We're going to enchant these bad boys and see what kind of things we can get on them. Because apparently, according to the wiki, netherite gear has higher enchantability than diamond does. Now, what enchantability means is basically the chances of getting better enchants on your gear. As far as I know, gold remains the best gear in terms of enchantability. But netherite... I'm going to be very interested to see what kind of things we can get, okay? So, let's get 30 levels, guys. Let's do it. And there we go. 30 levels, guys. Let's grab ourselves out the lapis and let's see what kind of enchants are available on these netherite tools. So, we've got efficiency 4, efficiency 4... Efficiency 4 and knockback 2. I mean, let's be honest, efficiency 4 is probably... Uh, oh, that's not a very good start, is it? In fact, that's a very bad start. Wow, okay. What do we got on this? Fire Aspect 1 for level 30? Are you insane? You call that higher enchantability, Minecraft? That is absolute trash. Bro, like that isn't even a joke. <laughs> that is absolute trash. All right, let's go ahead and refresh that one real quick, huh? I don't even care that that's unbreaking. Get rid, get rid of that. Let's see what we can actually get. Efficiency 4 once again, and again, and Fire Aspect 2. I mean, once again, Efficiency 4, it's usually a good start, isn't it? So I guess we'll go from there. Alrighty, guys, Efficiency 4 guaranteed, and I'm breaking 3. Okay, I mean, that is decent, but it's certainly not the best. Let's have a look. What have we got? Efficiency 4 once again, or Sharpness 3. I mean, of course, Efficiency. Efficiency 4 is going to top that. What is it with swords? Like, I don't know, man. I always feel, feel like I get really bad luck on sword enchants. I don't know what it is, man. I really don't. All right, once again, time to take out the trash. Alrighty, efficiency 4 by itself? Really? Wow. These enchants have not been that great so far. I mean, I can't really speak definitively for the enchantability on these new tools because, you know, I'm only enchanting them for the first time today. Like, maybe if I had a bigger sample size, I'd be able to give you guys a little bit better of a uh, reading from the enchantability of these new tools, but... I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll just go for the knockback too for this one, and maybe we'll get something as well as that. But failing that, we do, of course, have ourselves a bunch of villagers selling a whole bunch of epic stuff. So, yeah, it's not that bad. It really isn't. And for the final time, ladies and gentlemen, we have... Wow! That is terrible! What is that?! <laughs> That is such a bad enchant, man! Oh my gosh! Alright, so, in terms of the netherite tools, they actually have higher durability than diamond. And, well, as you can see as well, their base damage is higher than diamond as well. Uh, for example, we look at the netherite axe, it is 10 attack damage. This one has 9. So, obviously, if we put sharpness on this, then it is going to be an absolute machine, dudes. It really, really is. But... With all of that said and done, guys, we do still have ourselves a bunch of stuff we can get done here. We could put looting three on this netherite sword. We could do all manner of things, right? You know, protection. Well, that's not very really useful. But sharpness five. 44 emeralds is going to be a bit of a tall order. But uh, it shouldn't be that hard, right? But there we go, guys. We have ourselves a full set of of netherite tools, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe we got a new set of 
you know, tools and armor. Now, obviously, you know, armor is going to be the next step, but for now, my friends, I think we're pretty good. We'll do the netherite armor in another episode because, guys, I'm pretty happy with our netherite tools. Now, obviously, I need to go ahead and upgrade these things to the absolute freaking maximum. Oh, yes, we do. Hey! You dare shoot me from over there? Get out of here! But anyways, guys, with all of that said and done, netherite sword, netherite tools, all up and running. They just need upgrading. Guys, what we're going to do is end this particular episode here. So there you go, guys. If you want yourself a great way of getting the ancient debris to eventually get yourself some netherite ingots, use TNT. Oh, yes, TNT. Explosive for an explosive personality that is me i mean i'm a i am a creeper at the end of the day right so it makes sense <laughs> so yeah guys thank you very very much for watching i do appreciate your continued support do be sure to drop a like rating if you have enjoyed today's episode remember 5,000 likes i'll release the next episode tomorrow but before we head off we do have the comments question of the video justine torias says hey python do a new survival series at the new update 1.16 please uh uh, I'm actually not going to do that for the simple reason that I would be going back against my word when I said that this is the world that I want to stay on. Uh, this is the world, guys. It is. It's the world. I know I've said that many times before. I'm not stuck by it, but I am honestly, genuinely trying my best to stick to my word here. So yeah, this is the world, guys. It will be the only vanilla world that we have going on. And honestly, we've still got so much freaking stuff to do. It's actually kind of bonkers. Now that we have the 1.16 stuff to come as well, there's 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 so much stuff to do. There really, really is. You know, the Wither Skeleton Farm is probably top of my list at this particular moment. Still needs to be done, and I still have my design. I know exactly what needs to be done. So all I need to do is prep myself for it. In the next episode, hopefully we can get a Wither Skeleton Farm up and running so guys like i say thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the episode drop a like rating if you want to know when the future episodes are out the subscribe button is there for a reason it's free to do guys i know there's a fairly significant percentage of you out there who watch my videos but aren't subscribed guys go ahead and do it save yourself some time be the first to be notified when new videos go out hit the sub button i very much appreciate it guys but for now thank you guys very much for watching do have yourself a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next episode <laughs>